Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Ruff at West End Plastic Surgery, and today we're going to talk about implant size. One of the biggest questions that we get is, how do I choose the implant that's right for my body? And if you look at the implants here that I have, you might think that they are all very different sizes, but they are all the same size in different projections. Probably one of the biggest concerns is, I want this to look natural on my body. And so we go through an entire process in order to come down to the right implant size, sometimes slightly different side to side, that fits this particular person. I ask a lot of questions during the preoperative visit. One of them is lifestyle, things that they like to enjoy, types of activities they do on a regular basis. Do they rock climb? Do they run? Uh, are they big weightlifters? Because that also impacts how we go about choosing. The next step is a thorough physical exam. We take a breast exam. We also do three-dimensional imaging through the Canfield Vectra system. Utilizing these two uh, pieces of information, we can start to get inside the patient's head and do simulations that show what different implant styles and implant types look like on their body. And I think this is very helpful. This, is, this allows me to really start to see what's inside a person's thought process and patterns uh, and gives us an idea of what a particular implant style and type will look like in their body. So once we have come down to that, the last piece of information that I ask them for is three or four implant pictures that they like. This helps me, once again, become a little bit more refined. Patients will choose very similar body styles, and then I can take the commonalities between those four implant pictures, what we have discussed from a lifestyle standpoint, and what we have done on the Vector three-dimensional imaging, and really hone down to an implant style from them. So let's take a quicker look at these implants. This is a low profile implant, a moderate profile implant, and a high profile implant. At quick glance, you might think these are all very different sizes, but they are essentially the same size. The difference is the amount of base diameter versus projection that they have. These have a wider base diameter and lower profile projection. This is the narrowest base diameter and highest profile projection. So the big question then becomes, which implant do I choose based on what my desires are? And that comes down to a few things. Some of it is the amount of tissue that somebody has or the volume loss that they've had versus their chest dynamics and their breast dynamics. If we want this to be the most natural appearing breast for the person with some to high amount of upper pole fullness, we're gonna to go to a higher profile implant. But if somebody wants a much more natural look, a little bit more of a droop shape to the breast, so with a round implant, we're gonna to go to a more lower profile. Even within the realm of implants, they're more than just the silicone gel filled smooth round implants. There are saline filled implants that are round, smooth and textured. There are gel filled implants that are textured and they're the anatomic implants. We consider this a one to two day recovery with a very high patient satisfaction rate. So if you wanna learn more, please come visit us at www.westendplasticsurgery.com or call to make an appointment at 202-785-4187. I'm Dr. Paul Ruff at West End Plastic Surgery and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.